Uh, they, were the, they were the final straw when the Huddersfield Trust was formed. Um, that was the final loss. Um, and they sort of, you know, there's not room What are you going, going to ask Alison something? I'm just going to say, Alison, that I've always loved this veranda of this house. This is going to be one of the widest verandas I think I've seen in, in a house. Yes, and it's and perfect to sit here and... It's also perfect for a party. It's good for a party, and it's really good even if you're by yourself to sit here and watch the passing parade on the river. Watch the, the boats row, the people rowing past early in the morning sometimes? They row early in the morning and then on Wednesday night there's a really exciting twilight race going on from Bay Street, Greenwich and on Saturdays and Sundays there's lots of sailing and lots of boats and lots yeah. of activity. And they, were good, they were good designers I reckon Phil in, um, yeah. in 1891 when this was built and as you know the house has hardly changed since then. Uh, we certainly haven't changed anything we think it's great. So as you can see now in the summertime there's no sun on the veranda and the northeast yeah. breeze. Yeah. And in the winter time, there's full sun on the veranda. Yeah. So, yeah. so you don't have to build the ugly new one. You can have a lovely veranda and fresh air. I know. And I know. the northerly aspect. And the northerly aspect, yeah. yeah. At the, looking at the beautiful Lane Cove River, where I... Now, Carl, you've done a lot of, uh, a lot of sailing over the years. Um, um, I can remember, when was it that you were uh, in the Olympics? When was that? Um, just one or two years probably, ago? Probably before you were born, <laughs> Phil. We, we were in the 1968 Olympic Games of Mexico sailing a flying oh, that Dutchman. Would have been, that would have been fun. Yeah, big, yeah high, part, high point in your life, I think. Yeah, if yeah. you're, um, you know, we've got, you've got a lot of high points, but it's one of the, the dozen, I guess. What about, what about being with Bond across in Perth? Yep, yep. For the America's yep. Cup. When I stopped going to work in um, 80. I uh, went and sailed in the America's Cup with Bond's team. Well, we didn't yep. sail in the America's Cup because the, the other, the Kookaburras beat our group. Yep. Um, but yeah, so we went and lived with all the Perth people and other people there for uh, a year and a half and sailed with Alan Bond's team and um, he and the whole thing was great fun. I bet yeah, it was. Fantastic fun. Yeah. yeah, to go sailing every day for me, who um, only the rich kids could do that, but in my era, um, you had to go to work, so we could, yeah. that, you know, you had to be a rich kid to go do the America's Cup in the old days, but yeah. it's changed now. Uh, a good America's Cup sailor can earn millions a year. Yeah. <laughs> we certainly weren't there then. But, um, but it was great to go to Perth and go sailing every day for a year and a half. I think it sounds magic. Like yeah. mm. And we always knew we could come back here. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, the veranda <laughs> exactly. was still here, waiting exactly. for us. <laughs> and Alison, the other uh, uh, thing that uh, that strikes me is that in the uh, Olympic year uh, 2000 here in Sydney um, that the uh, Paralympics were very important to a whole lot of people um, and uh, we've actually got one of those quilts in our place but what uh, you were involved very much with the um, the quilters it was across Australia in, in, uh, or ten, New South Wales? Ten or? Quilt, quilters Yep. makers, including me, yep. organised an association called um, Quilts 2000. We asked quilt makers all around Australia to make and donate a wall hanging size quilt. We got 639 of them, I think. Yeah. They were all for sale, although they couldn't be received until after the Paralympic Games, and all the money we raised went to the Paralympics, Paralympics because yeah. it was a bit underfunded. We yeah. figure we paid for the closing ceremony of the Paralympics. <laughs> you, and, you raised and we raised, raised five five hundred thousand dollars. That's fantastic. A bunch of ladies sewing. I think <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> well, they also were up in the Olympic Village, where they, they were. Oh, oh, selection, a, a, selection. A very small selection was in the Olympic Village, and then we had all six hundred and thirty-nine quilts on display during, throughout the Paralympic Games. And then at the end of that time, everybody who'd bought one, we distributed them all. We sold all but 39 out of the 639. Yeah. And those 39 that were left, we donated to various appropriate places, yeah. like the Powerhouse Museum yeah. got one, and some local councils around Australia got them. And the quilts were donated from all over Australia, including some Australians who lived overseas, but we weren't looking for donations from overseas yeah. necessarily. You, didn't you sell a lot overseas? On we the, did. On we the, had a website which yeah. has been archived by the uh, National Library, um, and they were for sale on the website. And we sold, I think, a third totally via the yeah. website. Yeah. So people 
for instance, I made three for the whole thing, and one is in the Huntersville Town Hall, and yeah. the Huntersville Council bought it, and one went to America and one went to Germany. Now, now I want to say that that um, for, because this can be edited. <laughs> uh, Philip Philip Jenkin here and Alison Wright here <laughs> have been the secretary, president, treasurer, founder, instigator, stirrer. Uh, yeah, everything of every thing to do in Hunters Hill. Whether, Alison, whether it's the preschool, the kindergarten, the primary school, the, the high school, the play group, the Hunters Hill yeah. Quilters, she's been the secretary, president, treasurer of everything, yeah. and Philip Jenkins been the secretary, president, treasurer of everything else. The stirrer. The stirrer. Yes. The stirrer. <laughs> but I think Alison, uh, it's fair to say that uh, while this is a, a lovely, peaceful, village atmosphere place in a sense that uh, both what you've done and I think uh, to some extent uh, myself um, is typical of a lot of people here who both committed to the community but who have spent a lot of time much more than we should have in fighting to save the to character save the of the places. area sure. yeah. and yeah. whether it was the high school the battle for the high school or whether it was the battle against the Commonwealth Government and Defence who wanted to flog off the magnificent um, def former defence sites around Sydney Harbour um, to doing away with us all together in the um, uh, taking, taking over Hunters Hill and destroying it um, in 2003. So it's while it's a peaceful place, anybody who's coming to live here has to realise that uh, both you can receive the benefit of all the work that's gone on in yep. preserving it, but you've also got to be prepared to stand up Defend and fight. It. Yes, because yeah. all of these houses along here in the mid '60s were actually zoned home units until the Hunters Hill Trust was formed. Kicked out the whole council at the next election. The whole lot went because they're all corrupt. Yep. Um, and uh, uh, so all these beautiful old houses were saved by yep. the skin of our teeth. Yep. You know, a year yep. later, and they were all. And the reality home is that, that while we think back and we say that uh, that that was the day in which people had to stand up and fight for the area, and it's true, they did. Uh, we are still under enormous uh, pressure today where you've got uh, state governments and bureaucrats simply saying, well, we've got to impregnate an extra million people into Sydney and that's yep. tough. Uh, yep. Hunters Hill and Mossman or everywhere else have got to have uh, units and uh, dense accommodation. Yeah, and, and so and the threat's still there to the character of I think of at this Hill. minute, with with the current state government's ideas, it, it's maybe it's potentially worse than yeah. 1964. Yeah. And yeah. the other thing is they feel that as a government they own the land that is oh. government property somehow or other, whereas yeah. really we own it. Yeah, the people own it. Yeah. And, and, no right and to why sell they should the priory, feel they could they? sell, for instance, well, the priory. Well, we're going up to have a look at the priory. I mean, the priory is one of our most significant uh, heritage yep. buildings, and yet yep. the state government is looking at it as simply just another asset to flog off, yep. rather yep. than preserving yep. our heritage, yep. it's just uh, we can make a quick buck out of it. Yep. And they'll spend Approach. the money before lunch the next day. Oh, well before well, lunch. Yes. The day. <laughs> 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 yet, yet the community have owned it for 200 years, haven't they? I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. So we've got a, it's been worth fighting for, hasn't it? You two have been doing oh. it for... Almost 40 years, almost full time. I didn't think it's. Uh, don't think it's that long, no, isn't it? No, it's we're not. Only young. No, we, we, <laughs> well, it feels remember, like 40 years. I can remember going to the first Hunters Hill Trust thing at the town hall. The big. Oh, the big meeting. The big thing uh, in '69 yeah, or '68 yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there's been some big it's ones. There was a, years, obviously yeah. a big one at the Save um, Hunters Hill. Um, Municipality Coalition yeah, meeting, yeah, yeah. but there was another big one too to do with. Um, Oh, the aircraft, the aircraft, aircraft uh, noise. When, when they put all the aeroplanes deliberately yeah. over Hunters Hill. Yes, yes. Um, yeah. That was another huge yeah. meeting at the town hall. That's right. And, even and the people high do school come one out. Was oh, the high too. school one, yeah. So whenever, whenever the area is threatened and uh, politicians or bureaucrats think that they can just take us, they suddenly everybody comes out of the woodwork en yes. masse. And yeah. even the one about the foreshore land. Oh, well, yeah. it was. That, that very first one that they yes, yeah, yeah. And the big concert. And one of the one of the huge things is that though you spend countless hours, if not days, if not weeks, if not yes. years, fighting these battles, the friendships you make 
yes. uh, is just enormous. Yeah. Yes. Just yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. And I think it's part of our job to educate the... Um... See you later. Bye. You okay. Goodbye. Did you have some nice lunch? Thank you And they knock down the beautiful old house and build a, a mega yeah. air-conditioned yeah. plate glass window ugly mansion, don't they? So yeah. it's yeah. part of our job to educate the, uh, the, the new, new people that come into the... Yeah. You know, like the trees, and then cut them all down in their block, block of land, so that they can see the other trees on the other yes. <laughs> somebody else's land. Yeah. Yes. That's true. That's true. All right, boss, how are we going? Oh, great! Is that love? It's